What's up? What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Tyquees here with another beauty tutorial. Now in this video here, I'm doing my best friend makeup. She has uh, to go to work and however she has to look a certain way. So I have to get that look done. Okay. So however, I got a job to do. So right now I'm going to cover up any kind of um, discoloration she may have in her skin using the concealer. The concealer of my choice was Pro LA Girl Concealer. I really like that golden concealer. I really like it with her undertones. You know, it really brings everything out to be very light and vibrant. Going into my um, Anastasia Dip Brow Ebony, Ebony Dip Brow. really do like that Dip Brow. Um, I like that Dip Brow um, because, you know, it lasts a long time, okay? And I can pretty much do your brows with anything, but... I really do like quality because when I'm finished, it makes the look look kind of shiny, kind of, it has like a shine to it. I like the brows that have a little shine because, you know, we don't take much care of our brows. We always just chopping them off. We don't really go back and kind of hydrate the brows. What I like about the Anastasia Dip Brow is it, it, it gives it a hydration look, but it doesn't move. I like that. So I'm using the Tarte Concealer. really do like the Tarte Concealer. Um, I'm just arching her brows up the way I feel that they should look as far as with a brow shape, not changing up too much of her brow, but just enhancing a little bit, just trying to, you know, bring out that structure that she needs for this look. Now she's going to be on TV, so I have to make sure that everything kind of come together for the light action. All right. So we need her to look average. Okay. So the thing is what I'm going to do is. Every um, texture that I put to the skin, I'm going to make sure it has a sealant and protection too. So when the light hit her, she won't just sweat off, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do is just, if I'm using, it's going to look like I'm using a lot of product, but I'm, I'm telling you I'm not, okay? Uh, you, <laughs> I don't think I am, but maybe the brows, the brows takes the longest. Because that, that is when you really do the deep work, okay? So I'm diving into this new concealer that I have, which is the Anastasia Concealer. Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. This is the newest one. And this is the 17, all right? This is the Magic Touch Concealer. Now, don't get me wrong. Now, this is a bomb concealer. But I think this concealer works for people who are really dry. If you really dry, you need to go get this concealer because let me tell you something, this, this concealer here is ideal for you. Be sure that you put a primer on with it. But put this concealer on and you got yourself some magic concealer. Because the concealer is magic. It's just, it's just not, it's, it's, it's not, the, the texture is just right. But this concealer is not some, I would buy this though. Okay, just not for my skin. You know, so if you're dry. You need to go pick that up, okay? And and you can use that concealer like a whole foundation, all right? That's how nice it is. The consistency is very nice. However, going into this, um, my Tarte, you know. Tarte is my holy grail because I like the consistency. And I like the fact that it doesn't, it's not really dewy unless you want it to be, you know. But even, it's not going to be just dewy, dewy where you can't blend it out and it leaves creases. I, I don't like creases you know but if you don't want something to crease it you need to set it if you don't want it to crease up you need to be you need to set it so if you got a concealer that's hard to set that might not be the ideal concealer for your skin type um but however making sure we pat this concealer in tap 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 you know um i gotta tell her to relax because um she she is just i think she's nervous more than anything but I have to tell the light to just relax. Calm down. Calm down. We got this. You know, so it's like really difficult. And she watching a movie. So, yeah. And let's not talk about how she go bust out crying on the ear. Yeah, y'all. Why I'm um, messing with the concealer. I'm going into my Too Faced. Um, eyeshadow palette. I really do like this Christmas Too Faced uh, palette. It's destroyed because I've had it for like three years now and oh my god 
I just really love this palette, you know, and I just won't throw nothing away until I'm actually finished using it. It's it's a really fun. A lot of the shades, this palette has been through a lot. I dropped it and the shades broke out of there, you know, but it's my fault. Really like this palette. Love this palette. Like, I think this is the best, like one of the best Too Faced palettes that I actually you know, like, but I'm a collector of Too Faced palettes, and, you know, I don't never buy the ones that are just identical to the same thing. I like to buy things with different colors, but if it got, a, like, a, a glittery, perfect glittery green, girl, you know I love my glittery greens, like, it's so pretty on the eye. So, I am going into this palette, so what I'm doing is putting a little bit of the Too Faced um, eyeshadow primer on. It's really nice. I think this is one of the new ones. Um, insurance. This is the eyeshadow insurance, and it's the 24 hour um, anti crease. So yeah. So now, guys. Um, just gonna go ahead and dive into this eyeshadow but um I'm, I'm gonna set this primer first with um, my Fendi Beauty um, butter powder and I'm just gonna go into these shades now um I'm using a lot of shades out of this palette this is the only palette that I'm using on her eye then I um, dive into another palette which is a really nice palette I like Jeffree Store palette um it's a really nice palette i like to use that palette for like blushes highlights i mean i just like to buy palettes that i can do a lot with um it just means a lot to me to do that you know so i'm just really taking my time blending those shadows in really good it probably look like i'm going in really hard but i'm not i'm really gentle as a giant my hands are so gentle um she is relaxing and we're actually watching a movie so i picked up girl when my best friend start crying okay during this movie all right and we're actually we're watching a movie <laughs> we're watching the michael jackson movie and she just bust out and cry and i'm over here showing you guys the lashes or whatever and she oh my god i was so like hurt i was like oh my god my friend is really crying. Okay, so we get sensitive. We watch certain movies. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, yeah, so she's, <laughs> I didn't freaking know she cried until the video. This part right here where I am recording. So, yeah, we're going to draw attention to that because this is my best friend and this is something we do, okay? Um, however, uh, I didn't even know she cried because the makeup didn't crack. Nothing cracked. I didn't have to touch up nothing. This little girl, I'm like, what the? I did not know that she cried. But anyway, so it was a part of this movie that made her cry. But I, I was watching it. But then when I was, I'm like, okay. So anyway, um, using the gold, um shadow that's in this palette i'm just trying to open this palette and see what color is that gold girl i bet y'all be like this girl do some weird uh talk through but hey girl that's let me tell you something that's what my life consists of weird stuff so um prince around is the gold that i'm using it's so pretty oh my god oh my god oh that green though, girl. I love that green in this palette. It's like, I I just need them to. I, I, just, I, I just I just love greens. Okay, I love my greens. Oh God, this ain't the part. So anyway, the craziest thing about the part when this tear came out of her eye, um, I, I already set her face. Oh my God, you know that's the worst thing the client can do when you just set their face. They cry, but not with the stuff I use. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm just making sure I blend everything in seamlessly, even though 
you guys see me use a lot of le different levels to it. However, her, her skin feels light as a feather, you know, and I'm just going in and I'm just touching up, just blending everything in, making sure everything is basically stapled to the face, okay? Because if someone cry after getting their makeup done by me, child, you should still be intact. From because of the steps that I take, but anyway, um, now I'm just making sure I blend in that concealer really nice, girl. So nice, God. Oh, look how look how that concealer just laid. Now I'm using Tarte Shape Take, by the way. Um, that's my favorite concealer. However, I've been finding other alternatives because uh, your girl been on like a little budget. <laughs> trying to stop buying so much makeup because it's like I buy so much because I'm constantly doing makeup. I do makeup damn near all the time. <laughs> I do makeup like every day. Not every day, but like probably I'm off two days. Okay, I'm going to get two days out of a week or maybe I doubt a weekend. I'm very rare to catch weekends off, but I do makeup all day, every day. Everybody do different people. So <laughs> the way I record these videos, I really try my best to just include you guys and kind of show you guys my routine. So I know that I have a lot of makeup artists watch my videos. And if you guys like to come to class, you know, my makeup tutorials probably not enough for you. You want to come to the class, you know, all you got to do is follow me on Instagram and see how you can do that. Um, I do teach um, makeup classes as well. So, yeah, just follow me on Instagram and see how you can do that. I'll be sure to include that right now. But, um, yeah, so the way I lay foundation for everybody is different. Like, I never do the same thing with a with the same person it's always different steps it depends on what the skin needs so as you guys see i'm going in now with um a little bit of a bronzer but um i'm pretty sure that i'm using a jeffree star palette i'm using that brown that's in there and i'm just kind of bronzing up her you know because it's, it's certain shades that i'm looking for you know certain colors you know give me that contour that i need like it's a color that i see in my head that i want to get out on her face so I'm actually, you know, I find that with different eyeshadows, I find like the colors I really need because I could have a, you know, the bronzer that I use ain't going to be good enough for her. Okay. I mean, it might, it's not going to do what I want it to do for her. So it's her skin type is totally different from mine. Um, totally different, you know, due to the fact that she has severe oily skin. Okay. So my steps are different okay so as you guys see look that brown that i'm going into and i'm just dazzling that up on the cheekbones creating these cheekbones i'm creating something that i'm creating the look that i can see her like i want to see her in the magazine so i'm creating the cheekbone the magazine cheekbones that I want I want to see her face on god dog it so I'm gonna bring yeah so oh going into that contouring that nose girl I really wanted to give you guys really enough detail without making this video long with how I contour that nose different strokes with different folks different you know strokes of that brush you're gonna have to take from different lanes that you go into with the nose. It depends on how that person's nose is shaped already. You know, you got some people who have surgery that makes your life probably easier. And you got some people who want you to make, <laughs> they want you to make a miracle out of no situation. <laughs> but however, that's how I think, you know, I, I turn this into what they would want. All right. So, Different strokes with different strokes. My, the way I lay my um, powders on the skin looks crazy to you. But it makes a lot of sense to me because, however, I'm always going in a different way. You know, and, 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 and it's not for you to even know what way I'm going into. 
you know, I want you to learn, okay? But you're going to learn your own way to lay your powder. It's, it shouldn't, it don't always have to look pretty because when you make stuff look pretty, it turns out it look kind of, it look kind of artificial. And you know, I like dramatic makeup, but I like dramatic makeup to look like you. You know what I'm saying? I don't want when people get up close to you, you look all caked up. So every, every uh, step has a primer, has a sealing, you know, I seal the deal, you know, so that you don't look crazy, you know, because you can contour too much and it just leaves too much lines. But it's not that you use too much product, it's just that you blend the layers out correctly. You ain't put them, you ain't put the foundation down right. So each foundation you lay it down correctly. So yeah, anyway. Oh, look at that eyeshadow of God. Oh, Jesus. Those cheekbones though, girl. I'm finna put a little blush on now. Okay, and um, I don't even know what what I'm using to do her blush. I'm pretty sure I'm stealing this Jeffree Star palette, maybe. Look like I'm doing highlights at the Jeffree Star palette, yes. Okay, and she's like, oh my God, look at me. <laughs> Girl, so this next step, I'm finna get ready to deal with these lips. Girl, it took me a long time, even through school, to deal with people's lips, good. Boy, because, you know, it's like people always move. I don't mind you moving anytime else, anytime else. But not when I do your lips, because if you do... If you move while I'm doing surgery, I'm going to screw something up. So, however, I'm good at fixing it. However, thank God. Girl, let me tell you something. Too Faced Lip um, Chow Lip Gloss, um, it's bomb. Okay? I'm going to tag them in this video because that new t um, Too Faced is bomb. Okay? So, I'm using my MAC um, liner. And, girl, when I do lips, I do surgery. So, however, you see kind of, it's kind of crooked tad bit. Don't worry. I'm going to fix it. You know what I'm saying? She did a little move. I think this is when she get ready to get all sensitive on me. So, um, that um, Too Faced new lip gloss is really good. And if you guys don't have one for the winter time, you need to get one, okay? This video is not sponsored. I wish it was, but it's not. So, this is the Too Faced lip injection that I used on her. It's nice. Um, it really helps uh, um the lips to kind of go crazy. So then I apply my lipstick from my line. However, um, it's not out yet, guys, but it will be out soon. I apply my lip, my um, matte lipstick from my line on her lips because I wanted to see what these lips gonna do. I already had did my um injection on them, so they was already big enough, you know. But that and that was the why I was okay with my liner being kind of crazy because these lips are finna you know blow in a minute. But anyway. <laughs> Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, so now I'm just making sure everything is smooth, but it took me a long time to, uh, get in the jazz with dealing with folk lips, because I hate it when people move, but now it's good. I'm, I'm pretty cool with it. I see I'm one of those makeup artists that, uh, have to deal with people always on the go, so I have to know how to move when they're working. <laughs> so, you know, I'm always dealing with people who are on the laptop, on the phone, texting, on social media. The, they're always moving, you know. So, have to be in a hurry real fast, real fast, you know. Everything I do is speedy, okay. So, I'm used to, you know, people making me mess up and I'm fixing it real quick. Or just find a way for nobody else to see that they uh, that I kind of fucked that up. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, keep it moving. Yeah, girl, look at oh, look how big them lips got, girl, with those injections. Two face, two face, two face. Is all I'm saying. Two face, two face. All oh, this girl is crying. I did not know this part, but she is. I don't know. This is like a happy cry. What do you guys think? This was like, thank God I made it cry. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, girl, this was real. So the lashes that I'm using on her, look at this. But look, I didn't do nothing. This is the crazy part that I wanted to keep on here. After the, I just got done with this face, okay? With, you know, everything. I don't even, 
I didn't even set her face. I, yeah, I had just got done setting her face. And I'm not going to have to touch this, y'all. Just watch throughout the video. Look how that thing, you can't even see. So I'm going to go into um, these minks. If you don't know yet, girl, these are cowgirls. These are my mink lashes from my line. Interested, make sure you go to the website. Check out my mink lashes. Girl, whatever I got on there, just get it. Just get it. If you got acne prone skin, you see some skincare stuff on there with salicylic acid, get it. Bye. Okay, you see a mask on there, bye. If you see um, some in there for, you know, oily skin, dry skin, bye. Just get it. Just sell me out again, girl. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Oh, this girl here is gorgeous, ain't she? Lord, have mercy. Girl, I be really excited, okay, when I finally get a look out of my head, you know. And, you know, she's actually going into something a little bit bigger than what I'm doing. And, I mean, it's like I'm happy and I'm honored to do her makeup you know, for her event, and I mean, it just turned out so beautiful, you know, we got out what she wanted, and um, that just made me really excited, I was really um, intrigued by this lipstick, it, it's just so pretty, God, this is, that lipstick is so pretty on her, and you know, this look just came together, um, the cheekbones correspond with the lipstick. The eyeshadow correspond with the lipstick. And I just, I go deep in detail when I do makeup, girl. I like to see deep. Like, I want, I want to make sure everything comes together, like music, you know. So, diving in that Jeffree Star palette again. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with that palette. And now I'm using one of my favorite brow liners um, from Urban Decay. This is the Brow Blade, and it's um, Blackout. I like to go back in and kind of line my brows up a little bit. Got to be real steady, though. You know, line them brows back in, you know, the way you want. Dived into my um, Anastasia um, brow um, gel or whatnot. Brought those brows up. And this is the finished look, girl. Now, this is how she got her look. But, however... You know, the before was, like, good. Like, I really like this look on her with short hair, you know. But, however, you know, this is what you do. That's what you do when your money right. So, she going somewhere. So, this she got to go to work, honey. She, she have to go to work, honey. So, um, look at this look, though. It is just so everything. You know, this just is a look how it's so crazy how it depends on how your makeup looks, the styles that you wear. You can wear anything if you got the right makeup artist. Girls, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Go check out my website if you haven't yet. Madame Dion Cosmetics will be in the description box. I love you. My father love you more. Please do be blessed until we meet again. Thank you so much for giving me a chance to come in and show my craft. Bye.